Hello and welcome to Let's Try. We're trying Necrosmith. This game is interesting to say the least. Um, it looks like a uh, kind of a deck building action roguelite um, with a twist, with a twist. So let's have a look. Uh, let's, let's take a look. I love this title page. That's There's so much character in this. This is a lot of fun. All right. The dead can be revived on the arcane enchanter. Assemble the first dead by filling all the slots. So we're gonna we're gonna want. Oh, I see. Hover over the body part, hold uh, left mouse button, and drag the body part to the appropriate slot. So this is a torso. We're gonna want a torso, of course. Um, or double click the body part. So we're gonna want a head. We're gonna want an arm. Another arm. A leg. We could have a different kind of arm. So we could have either a melee with a you know a saber, or we have like a magic wand, uh, and then we're gonna want another leg. Revive the first dead. When all slots have been filled, the dead can be revived. Click revive to make the dead get up and go. We could probably also save this undead version. Now release your dead from the tower to explore the lands and collect resources. Collect an army, assemble, and revive four more dead. Uh, experiment with combinations of body parts and see the results. So we could do like a wizardy undead, uh, skeleton leg, boot. Uh, can we have two magic wands? Your dead met its first enemy. It will attack auto automatically, but its attacks and survivability depend on the body parts used to build it. Can we have another? Okay, so we have a super magey type of. Uh, dude, so I'm gonna call this uh, double fisting wizard. Wizard. Okay. There you go. So what is this? Here you can revive dead quickly using saved procedures and necessary body parts. All right, create. Go ahead and give me, give me an, uh, a, a wizard. Did it? Oh, release it. Look at him. He's, look at him, he is double fisting spells all the way. Um, this game recently got an update to improve the AI. I think that there, it was not ideal. Enemy layers, your dead found an enemy layer. It will automatically attack the layer until it is destroyed. The destroyed layer cannot generate new enemies. Solid. Go, my minion, fight. Wow, he's doing a really good job, actually. Let me go ahead and work on another undead while he does that. Let's give this guy two crossbows. I like two crossbows. And we'll give him another boot. New day has begun. Every new day there will be a new body parts in the tower and all uh, objects on the map captured by your dead will generate income. Okay, I'm gonna save this one as uh, cross my Bow, uh, cross my bows. There you go. Revive. Release. So this guy is taking out this layer. This guy is coming over to help him. So I can only have three of five undead. Oh, did we finally lose someone? Look at him go. He's doing such a good job. Let's get a, another one to help him. Let's have... Um, this one be a melee type. Give him some legs. Meat Glacier. Food makes your dead more viable. Uh, oh, I see. So we can we can work on this. We have some resources. You uh, you can build your tower upgrades using the blueprints you found. Remember that you, you need ore for construction. Okay, we'll go ahead and work on that. Nice effects in this game. Um... Nah, you know what? I like this theme of double fisting uh, all of our weapons. Capturing buildings. When your dead approaches objects like these on your map, they become yours. From now on, the captured object will generate mana or gold or body parts every morning. Nice. Actually, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to give this guy two sabers because I like the look of this, this one. But he will have only one boot. And I'm going to call this guy... Um, Nightly. There you go. Revive him. Release him. There he goes. 
Your revived dead are shown at the bottom of the screen. Click on the dead's icon to open its perimeters. Click on the icon to move the camera to the chosen undead. So we can tell him to kill, always. <laughs> Amazing. You can give the dead easy orders or control them in the dead control menu. Order, order the, oh, you want me to make him stand still? Well, now stay in position until you order differently. No, but I want him to go and kill. Oh. Oh, I see. That was actually... Okay. Well, I guess I'll have to create another wizard. Except I can't, because I don't have enough resources. Control. Control its movements using the WASD uh, uh, to turn off control over the dead right-click. So I can move him around. Can, I can directly control him. I, we already have this mine, right? So I'm just gonna move him over here. This is kind of neat. I honestly didn't expect to have, like, total control. It's got a bit of a, a vampire survivor's feel to it, but this game does not feel like a vampire survivor's-ish game. What are these, I wonder? These little swirlies. We got ourselves a- oh, I see, those are- those are resources. So now I can- I should be able to revive the wizard. Oh, except I don't have enough stuff. What is this? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let him do his own thing now. A tower is under attack. Enemies reaching your ta reached your tower and are attacking it. If its strength drops to zero, you will lose. Your dead located nearby will react automatically, but it's better to have some body parts in stock to revive some new defenders in time. If you need to, time to think, pause the game to study the situation on the map or select the appropriate body parts to create an effective warrior. The latter is especially useful when enemies get close to your tower. Okay. So I'm going to pause the game. Um, we're going to make another wizard. Oh, except we don't have... Oh, we do have enough wands. We just need to give him a boot and then we're good. We'll boot him out the door. Uncover the secrets of these lands. You've created several dead, so you should be able to survive here. Create more powerful servants. Explore the lands, grow your power bit by bit, and find your way out of this trap. Look at him go. I like that he's smart enough to run away while casting spells. I just got an achievement. Herogasm. This game is, is banned on Twitch. I want, I want you to collect this gold while you're killing. Okay. Um, someone should, needs to go and grab that mine or whatever it is. I don't think, I, I don't think I own this. Do I? It doesn't look like it. Ba, 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 ba. I guess I do, because it just gave me a body part. I really like the music in this game. It's really fun. Fun music. Do we have this? Do we collect this? I guess so. I'm not doing a good job of controlling this guy. In fact, he's dead now. Um, let's go ahead and make a new lad. Zombie arm with sword. So we have zombie parts now. Skeleton body with armor. Um, skeleton arm with armor and saber, uh, zombie leg with boot, and then skeleton leg with boot. We're gonna, this guy, I don't know, is kind of a mess, but should, he should be able to fend up. Wow, he destroyed them. Oh my god, he's a very efficient warrior. Do we have any new upgrades? Uh, food makes your dead more viable. We can, we can do that. We upgraded that. We can do it again, I suppose. Let's do that. The tower is looking a little bit nicer. Um, so I feel like we can only have three or five undead max. So I'm not sure... Maybe we can increase that later. This this group is on their way over. 
There's another layer over here that we're slowly... Well, we're actually doing a really good job defeating that. Um, may as well poop out another zombie, and also there's another group coming their way. Uh, let's do a crossbow and a sword. We'll have a bit of variety this time. And, oh, we can have, we can afford some more armor. Boots and just a normal head. Optics Laboratory improves the vision of your dead. Plus two to vision area per level. Nice. Um, let's, let's get that. We can afford it. It's not too expensive. Max level already. Wow. Gives all the dead a plus five vision bonus. You found a relic. Oh, okay, so now their their vision is really nice. Wonder if I could like, can I, I can't control them all. I can't like tell them all to converge on a single point. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna work, uh, make another zombie. This, uh, this uh, orc leg did not skip leg day. Bronze Forge increases the armor of your dead. This is uh, another blueprint. Oh, we, I, I gave him two shields. That's probably not going to be very helpful. Please note, resurrecting the dead costs mana. If you lack mana, you can burn unnecessary body parts. Mana Extractor. Throw unnecessary body parts into the mana extractor to burn them and get mana. You can also do this by right-clicking. Oh, that's nice. That's useful. Okay, let's, I'll do that to uh, a skull. I need a lot of uh, mana for this part. Uh, let's actually, let's get rid of this part and then put in this part. No, actually I wanna, I changed my mind. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna burn a few parts. Oh, we're uh, taking damage. Can we, we can revive them now. So we'll go ahead and do so. This guy should be, should have the chops necessary to destroy this group. Nice. We're seeing some new, uh, a new biome. What is that? Oh, that just like reveals a bunch of the map. Lots of stuff going on in this game. I appreciate a lot of the little animations and uh, visual flair and juice going on. Oh no, one of our zombies died. I'm gonna have to make another one. Um, let's see, let's get a skeleton with a helmet, a uh, shield, and we'll get a crossbow, a leg, and then an orc skeleton leg, okay. We need a torso also, uh, just a normal to torso, I suppose. Um, this is gonna cost 31, I don't have enough, so let's burn some legs and some arms, and then we have enough. Someone is about to die, this lad. This lad is about to die. Oh no! And that one too. We're coming up against some harder foes now. Okay, okay, this is not, not great. We're uh, getting, we're getting beaten up right now. Um, let's just make a normal skeleton. Uh, we'll have to burn some more stuff in order to make this possible. Nice. Nice. He took a lot of damage, but that's okay. He did what he needed to do in order to uh, protect us. So what is this? This is another... Prevents your control over the dead in a small radius. Oh. This guy is probably my beefiest lad. He should be able to take out that group of wolves, or whatever they are. We're taking uh, hits again? Jeez, okay. Um, let's make a beefy lad. Zombie leg, and then we'll give him two crossbows. This one's gonna cost a bit more, so again, I'll have to burn some parts. 
It's summer and we're running out of ice. I just got an achievement and it made no sense to me. Nice. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see if there are any improvements I can make. More armor per level. Uh, we could do that. We could also do plus 10 le uh, health per level. Let's maybe do that. I'll do armor next. I like the I like I like the music a lot. It gives me uh, some really nostalgic kind of RPG vibes. I feel like you know what you know what I need. I need a zombie to stay in this zone. Because I feel like that's it's it's uh, kind of hurting me that they are not sticking around. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna make a skeleton with um, two of these, and I'm gonna have to burn pretty much everything else just to make this. Um, and I'm gonna tell him to stand still. Stand still. You are here purely to protect the castle. Everyone else will be, you know. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna collect that gold. Okay, so you're we're good. We should be good against uh, monsters for a little while until I have to. Uh, oh, what's this? Skeleton arm with a book of ice. Wow, and we have an orc a zombie arm with a magic wand. That should be good. So actually, I'll keep him, but I'm, I'm gonna, you know, it's better to kill the enemies before they reach the castle. How you move definitely helps kill enemies faster. Oh, we have a skeleton who's come to help. That's that magic like shield is really nice because you can just run right into enemies and they can't they can't do anything about it. Oh, the skeleton's almost dead. Oh no! All right, let's uh, try and deal with this. Skeleton arm with a book of ice. I'm gonna make this one a very magey uh, zombie. Um, I might not have enough. Oh, I have I have tons of mana, so I should have enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, that wasn't it. They, they they instantly destroyed me. So we need a beefier uh lad to take this on. This should do it. Half rotten dead. Revival cost negative 5, speed plus 5. I'm trying to I'm trying to control him. He's already almost dead. Dang, these guys do are not messing around anymore. I am probably going to lose pretty soon. No. Okay, yeah, we're 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 not doing well. I I am like 100% not doing well. I can't move fast enough. No! Okay, um, I definitely lose. So, I don't know, for like, the vampire survivors uh, comparison is definitely getting old. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure no one really wants to hear it uh, at this point, but like, this is really starting to kind of, this is feeling a little bit like an RTS-ish Vampire Survivors. In a way, I mean, you're, you are trying to survive an arena and you are exploring as well, so it's a bit open world, but um, you don't have like complete um, agency over everything. So, you know, 
it's it's a bit interesting. We're we're, we're compromising a, a bit of agency for the sake of uh, customization over the the and the zombies and skeletons that we're releasing. Use gold to repair and upgrade devices and items. They will grant you new abilities and increase your chances of survival. Well, I could uh, talk here about my feelings on meta progression, but I feel like that would just be unnecessary. Um, all right, this is good enough. I guess I can only afford that thing. So we'll try, we'll try another zone. We'll try another play. You received your first spell. To find out how it works, hover your mouse over the spell button. Release a cat that collects resources from the tower. So we have 50 mana. We can make a couple of skeletons. We don't have a lot of uh, creativity available to us right now, but that's okay. I do wonder, like, how you survive is that going to affect... Sorry, how you explore, is that going to affect how you, how you like, do things? Like, you know, I, I, I kind of avoided a, an area. Not that I did it intentionally, but I, I very much let my dudes do whatever they wanted. And uh, they, they kind of avoided a, a, an area. I wonder if that affected me negatively. Okay, you guys are, are doing that. Um, let's just try this spell. Yeah, that's pretty good. Immediately collects like all of the goods nearby. It's a pretty good spell. Wow, look at all the stuff we're getting. Increase the growth of skeleton parts. Plus four to skeleton growth per level. Yeah, let's, let's get that right away. All right, let's uh, we'll make a, a new a new lad, new day, new lad. You know, throw a couple of legs on there, and there we go. Have at it, buddy. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna tell you to stand here, because that you are gonna be the protector of this castle for a little while. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty pretty interesting. I mean, uh, the the combine co combining parts. I'm sure there's some depth involved here that I'm not really understanding. And like, if I was paying super close attention, it might uh, work out. I kind of hope there isn't a benefit to like matching parts in a way. Like, you know, if you make a completely generic skeleton, maybe you get benefit to that. I don't know. I guess it's not terrible, a terrible thing, but like. I feel like um, part of what's going to make this game interesting is is like matching different uh, styles uh, of parts and trying to be a little bit creative in how you do that. Um, I could do with a magic wand right now because I want to give someone this book of ice. Although I guess it doesn't matter. The book of ice is itself a form of uh, attack. So we have our spell up again. Let's go ahead and do that. Almost kind of wish that, uh, I don't know, does this ca cost mana? Doesn't seem to. It kind of, for this spell, would almost rather it like do it automatically. Also, this cat has sight. That seems, and it can capture things. I, I feel like the spell is like massively overpowered. So yeah, I mean, definitely the that spell is gonna give you a huge advantage in future playthroughs. I think I need a second unit to watch the castle at this point. So we have some pretty good um, parts now. Let's go ahead and throw some stuff together. So this one gives you more health and uh, health and armor, but less speed. This one's a lot less speed. I feel like speed is definitely in a way more important than uh, health because it's going to ensure your you know, skeleton, whatever, undead creature is going to stay uh, alive for longer in a way. Um, kind of like this, the idea of the crossbow, but the crossbow is negative speed. 
Not sure what, what, what adds speed. It seems like none of the arms add speed. They just reduce speed. Okay, I mean, this is good enough. We'll, we'll release that. And again, I'm gonna tell this guy, well, um, to stand still. Oh, we'll have him on the other side of the castle. Okay. I'm struggling a little bit with the controls, but that's not the game's fault at all. The show must go on, probably. I got another Chivo. Oh, did we? We lost a, a zombie. Okay. Um, I guess having someone tankier at the castle would be a good idea with uh, some pretty good ranged abilities. So let's revive him, release him. And I will um, have him stand still at the base, but I'm gonna go ahead and collect all the goods first. There we go. So, you know, you wanna have a couple of units outside exploring and defeating these layers, and have a couple units at the base doing their doing their derndest to uh, keep things, keep the fort, you know? Uh, and I, you know what, I'm not even gonna bother to collect those units because our cat will do that as soon as it's up. Let's see what kind of upgrades we can make. Increases the growth of skeleton body parts, plus four to skeleton. Growth parts, but we got another thing, plus two regeneration per level. So let's do that, actually. That sounds really good. I, I guess we can do both. Let's do both. Let's do our cat. Collect all the goods. Cat is going to explore as well. Cat just seems ridiculously OP. guys are doing their doing their part for the tower um we probably want a new i kind of want a, a wizardy zombie but i don't have too many wizardy parts so never mind i do have some pretty good parts though let's uh let's throw these parts together this is gonna be a uh, pretty chunky pretty chunky zombie 52 yo 52 to, to revive this guy it's a bit it's a bit a lot oh wait no sorry 40 43 i had 52 mana zombie mutant nice he's looking looking good looking fresh do, do, do. wait a minute wait a minute this guy's got two different health bars or no, okay, one of our one of our undead came back towards the base for some reason. I know that the uh, dev said that they're working on the AI. Uh, I don't know if I notice any outstanding issues with the AI. I mean, it is a little bit chaotic, but um, you know, I think that that actually adds to the charm in a way. Um, I think that if you feel as the player that you have to take control of the zombies in order to like explore properly or play you know survive properly then maybe the ai needs some work but actually i feel like what would maybe improve things uh is having uh a little bit of control over behavior like maybe you could set up routes that the you know uh certain undead could follow you know walk around and then that would serve to protect the castle or maybe you could just like you know set up little node beacons and say hey you explore in this direction uh you explore in this direction uh maybe you could like you know control create squads and then tell the squads like hey you three zombies i want you to converge on this point so like have maybe a little bit of um behavioral control that uh you know follows the rts format um but uh, it might be that the dev is not going for that kind of flavor i'm uh fully willing to admit that that's that's the case and like you know maybe maybe i'm off base on that but I, I don't think it would hurt to have those kind of controls 
But uh, so far, I think this is actually really cool. It's a novel take anyway. I've been seeing a lot of um, Vampire Survivor-esque games lately, and I'm, you know, it almost comes across as an accusation these you know, I feel it. Because it's like, you know, it might be the dev didn't even play the game and didn't even want to make anything like that. So it, uh, it's not necessarily fair for me to compare it like that. But... Um, since it is so prevalent these days, it's hard for me not to like, well, this feels like it has a little bit of that going on. Um, and it's, I guess, part of the autonomous nature of this game gives it that kind of vibe. Um, but, uh, this is at least super novel. Like, it doesn't feel like yet another take on the same format. So these guys just like absolutely destroyed both those undead that's uh unfortunate i'm gonna have to make something a bit chunkier okay it's not bad oh my god he is like uh he's like the the what is it the, the morty that has just like one big arm That's uh, that's pretty hilarious. I kind of love it. This is gonna sound like a maybe a nitpick, but I kind of feel like there's maybe a bit too much space in the game. Like it makes it mean makes the icons or the the little um, you know the, the characters feel s super small, um, and it gives you this weird like I don't know hyper detailed sense. It, I don't know feel like there's I don't know how, how how would I fix this I say fix I mean I understand making the world big in order to like give it a lot of uh, things to explore but I almost feel like it it just feels like there's too much space between things like if I was hovering around this zoom level um, it might feel a bit better um, but like you can see like I have to move quite a lot to get to other other things uh, I almost feel like if they were a little bit closer Then the exploration would would feel a bit more like I have to you know, I don't know significant like if I move over here I'm more likely to find something right now. It feels like there's just like a lot of empty space. I understand also I guess I you know, it's unfair because like when I first started this game there was a lot of stuff nearby so it's not fair uh for me to say well there's there's too much empty space when there was a lot of stuff going on and i collected it speaking of which i gotta get my cat out there i do kind of wish the cat was just automatic um i don't think there's any reason not to cast the cat so if there's no reason to cast the cat just cast it automatically This, is he doing any damage? Oh, I guess he is, yeah. I do, I wonder, I'm, I'm actually like kind of wondering, can this game be beaten? I don't know. It's a question I have now. So what is this? Orc arm with armor and throwing axe. Okay, let's uh... Let's put together uh, a zombie orc kind of thing going on. Except I don't have any orc or zombie legs, so I'm going to have to give him skelly eggs. Skelly legs. That looks awful. Um, can we make some improvements? Increase the growth of skeleton body parts. Uh, I guess. I think I'd rather have regeneration. Things are not going well. I think, like, I, your success is largely determined by, um, what kind of parts you come across, and I don't know how you control something like that. Just run away. Just run away and, and, and hit them. Okay, that wasn't bad. Except there's more on the way all the time. 
I need to find out where they're coming from and try and destroy their lairs. Um, yeah, let's go over there and try and destroy that lair. I'm also going to try and make another skelly, another skelly zombie, I don't know. <laughs> this guy is an abomination. Okay. And then back to this guy, I'm, I'm gonna try and destroy this layer over here that's causing me problems. I don't think I'm going to succeed, actually. Ooh, I don't know, maybe. The, the, the enemy kind of gave up, didn't it? I am taking damage now. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need another zombie over here. Um, two crossbows, <clears throat> armor. I don't know. Give him a wizard hat just because then he has a hat. There we go. Literally anything. And uh, why don't we make another one? Um, just because, like, they're, we're, we're, we're on a losing battle right now. Oh, we don't have enough um, parts or mana. So let's burn some parts for some mana. Release him. Um, more. Just, just more, you know? More. Throw these guys together and um, burn some more parts. Revive, release. There we go. Is this guy okay? I don't think he is. He is he has like half damaged this uh layer. There's another layer over there. Oh no. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can destroy this layer. Come on, come on. Yes, increase the damage of your dead. Oh, that would be very good. Let's go ahead and do that right now. Excellent. Oh, our, our, our lair is looking pretty good now. All right, well, there's another thing over here that I would like to try and take out. So maybe, maybe you are uh, in a better position if you like directly control your zombies oh oh no oh no oh no okay yeah that that didn't work out too well um all right we need we need oh orc orc body parts this is this is gonna be bad okay this is pretty good actually but we need more mana look at him he's wonderful <laughs> Or is he? Oh, I have to release him. That's too much, man. I got another achievement. There's a lot of achievements and the icons for them don't really make sense to me. Uh, let's get that cat out there. So I'm gonna try and, um, actually I, I need to find out where the wolves are coming and maybe destroy them, their lair. There's not, not really anything, like, defending the base right now. Alright. Trying to decide, like, what enemies are causing the most problems. Hard to tell. I feel like it's usually the wolves. The wolves are uh, really are they're fast and they do a lot of damage. So they came from the northeast. Let's head that way and try and take out the wolf layer. 
I'll make some more undead if I have to in order to protect the base. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, I really, I really like this music. The execution on this game is like generally just like really high. I, I really appreciate a lot of the the little stuff, little things going on in this game. Wow. A lot of wolves, huh? Oh, there's even more coming. Okay, so we can't control uh, the zombie over there. If it would go over here, that'd be kind of nice. I guess the cat is only going to be good in the early game because it's... Uh, no, no, no. No, no, no. You're headed in the right direction. Um, because it's only going to be able to grab the stuff in the local area. Yeah, this is where the wolves are coming. Oh, that was a lot of damage. No! I don't think I can take this out. I can certainly try. Defeat! Oh, I wasn't watching the base. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it there. This is an interesting game. Um... You know, I, I, like I'm not even I'm not gonna do my shtick about the metro, meta progression. I understand why it's here I, I'm never gonna agree with it, but I understand that it's here. I'm recording my log. Don't interrupt first stage is the easiest one clear the site and prepare the foundation So we have 900 and something stuff. Oh, I didn't mean to do that I, I kind of wanted to know what I was buying So I should have hovered over before I did that. Okay. Uh, we can also buy this. I'll buy that. Sure. Produces six high-quality skeleton body parts every morning. So, I mean, um, I mean, I guess the best thing I can say about the meta progression in this game is that it seems quick. Like, it seems to me you could buy everything in a few games, not, not too many, and then, uh, and then play, you know, try and, try and beat it. I don't know if there's an end to this one. Like, I don't know if, like, can you defeat this game? is my question. If you can't, maybe it just doesn't matter if there's meta progression or not. Because um, if it's just like one of those endless grinds, then then that that would be fine. Like it's just like try and, try and do as good as you can do. But anyway, this was Necrosmith. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this and consider subscribing if you're new to my content and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Oh, <laughs> oh,